Solar panels can be a great addition to your home and a relief to your electric bills, but installing solar panels isn't your typical home improvement project. My name is Richard Ford and I've decided to go solar. Uh, my name is Bob McClintock and we're here today to talk about our solar installation. I think in looking back at the experience, I would just say I wish we had started earlier. I think once you make the decision to move forward, you really want it fast. Well, there are a lot of steps involved and that maybe is a bit of a surprise. It's a process that takes time, not a lot of time, but that really was a little bit of a surprise. There are many steps that go into energizing a solar PV system that customers don't always see. Our intention with this video is to show you how it's done. From applying for permits to energizing the panels, we'll take you through the entire process so you know what to expect. After you sign your contract, your installer's first step is to secure state incentives for your project. My name is Ed Kranich and I'm a senior associate of statutory and infrastructure programs at the Connecticut Green Bank. The Residential Solar Investment Program, or RSIP as we call it, um, is a program developed by the Connecticut Green Bank uh, in 2011 um, to support residential solar for homeowners in Connecticut. My role within the RSIP program is to review and qualify new contractors uh, who want to join the program and to review and approve new incentives for new projects in the RSIP. When we review applications, we look for completeness and quality of the incentive, so ensuring that the lease PPA or purchase agreement matches the info submitted to the Green Bank, reviewing the drawings, reviewing the customer's electric bill and their usage, um, and ensuring basically that the funds that we're providing for that project are uh, going to a good project and that everything that's being submitted to us is accurate. Once the project has been approved by the Green Bank, we send an email to both the system owner and the contractor to let them know that the project is okay to move forward and that an incentive has been reserved for them. In addition to Green Bank approval for incentives, solar PV projects also require utility approval to interconnect your system to the grid. To receive utility approval, the installer fills out an application and submits it online or through the mail, then mails in a check. Once the utility receives the check, the application is considered complete. Completed applications are reviewed to ensure your solar PV system can be safely connected to the grid. If a safe connection is available, the utility will issue contingent approval to interconnect. While the utility reviews the project for interconnection, the installer must also secure a municipal permit. Permit requirements vary widely from town to town, but the installer is typically required to provide electrical diagrams, a site plan, details about the equipment, and how the system will be attached to the roof. The municipality's building department will review your application for safety and code compliance, then issue a permit for construction. My name is Brendan Smith. I'm the design manager at Sunlight Solar. My role here is to manage the sales, marketing, and design side of our business. A lot of things kind of happen in line with each other in the lead up to the installation. The permitting and the interconnection application process happens right in line with ordering materials for the project. Typically, the project will be broken up into two parts. So there's the roof work of installing the panels and then the work to tie the system into the electrical system for the house. If it's a standard installation, it should only take two or three days. I think the thing that surprises people the most is how much time it takes to actually get installed and powered on. Usually when somebody signs a contract and they are ready to go solar, they're kind of anxious to get powered on. So it's important for them to know the timeline. My name is Kristen Bayusik and I'm the project coordinator at Sunlight Solar Energy. After your solar installation is complete, there are still two more steps that need to be taken in order to turn your system on. You'll need an inspection from the town and you'll need approval to energize from the utility company. Once we have confirmation from our lead installer that the system is complete, we'll call the town and see when they can schedule an inspection. They will usually let us know. Sometimes they can do it within a few days, sometimes it takes them a week. After the municipal inspection is passed, that report gets released to the utility company and that lets the utility know that they can swap out their existing meter for a net meter. The utility installs a net meter so that we can determine how much energy your house is producing as well as how much you're using. And that allows the utility to bill you appropriately. 
Once your net meter has been installed and your witness test has been completed if your utility company requires it, the utility will then issue a notice to energize letter um, and that lets the homeowner know that they can turn on their system. Every solar PV project requires time and planning. Coordinating the various approvals and reviews can be complex and variations in processes between utilities and municipalities can impact the time it takes to complete your solar project. Nevertheless, the time that goes into installing your panels is well worth the decades of energy savings, not to mention the reduction of your carbon footprint. For more information, contact the Connecticut Green Bank.